Today we're going to learn how to name and write formulas for simple binary ionic compounds. In an ionic compound, the atoms form ions, which are held together by the attraction of these oppositely charged ions. A binary compound is a compound that contains only two elements. For example, the compound with the formula NaCl is a binary ionic compound because it's formed from just one metal and one nonmetal. We call this compound sodium chloride, but you're more familiar with it as common table salt. Other examples include potassium iodide, which is found in so-called iodized salt. Potassium chloride is a salt substitute for people with health issues who need to limit their sodium intake. Sodium fluoride is a toothpaste additive for stronger teeth, and calcium fluoride is the state mineral for Illinois. But when it's the mineral, we call it fluorite. Magnesium oxide is also a binary ionic compound, and a model of its crystal structure is shown here. All of these compounds are binary ionic compounds because they form from one metal and one nonmetal. In other words, they form from only two different elements. By seeing the previous examples, you may have figured this out, but whenever you name a binary ionic compound, Simply write the name of the positively charged ion, then write the name of the negatively charged ion, but change the suffix of the negatively charged ion to "-ide". In other words, to write the name of a binary ionic compound, name the cation, then the anion. What about the other direction? What if you're given the name, but you need to determine the formula? First, write the symbol for the positive ion, then the symbol for the negative ion. Consider the charge of each ion and use subscripts to get the simplest ratio of the ions so that you have no charge overall. Oftentimes, one or both symbols won't even need subscripts. For instance, sodium symbol is Na and sodium is a positive one ion and chloride symbol is Cl and it forms a negative one ion. Because sodium ion has a charge of positive one, and one chloride ion has a charge of exactly negative one, only one of each element is needed in order to write the correct formula. The positive ion exactly cancels out the negative ion. What about potassium oxide? The symbols for the ions are K and O. Potassium, being a group 1 metal, forms a positive 1 ion, and oxygen, as part of group 16 in the nonmetal, will gain electrons and form a negative 2 ion. In order to get enough positive charge to exactly cancel out the negative 2 charge, we're going to need two potassium ions for every one oxide ion. Therefore, the formula for potassium oxide is K2O. Take a few seconds now to write the formula for calcium fluoride. Go ahead and pause or rewind the video if you need to. The correct formula for calcium fluoride is CaF2 because one calcium ion with a charge of positive 2 and one fluoride ion has a charge of negative 1 in order to cancel out the positive 2 charge, two fluoride ions, a negative 1 each, are required. Whenever you have the formula of an ionic compound, you have the simplest ratio of the ions present. This is called a formula unit, although many students incorrectly call this a molecule. The charge of an ion is known as the oxidation number. The oxidation number for most of the metals and nonmetals that form in simple binary ionic compounds can be predicted from the number of valence electrons based on its location on the periodic table. For instance, all group 1 elements have only one valence electron, so they form stable ions by losing one electron, producing an ion with a charge of positive 1. Group 2 elements lose two electrons, forming positive 2 ions. Group 13 elements form positive 3 ions when the atoms lose those 3 electrons. 
The nonmetals in group 15 have five valence electrons, so they can form stable ions by gaining three electrons, producing an ion with a negative three charge. Group 16 elements become negative two ions, and because they have seven valence electrons, the halogens in group 17 just need to gain one electron to become stable as ions with a negative one charge. To review, whenever you write the name or the formula of a binary ionic compound, in fact this is true for any ionic compound, you must make sure that the charges in the formula all cancel out. Ionic compounds are neutral, so the number of total positive charge must exactly equal the number of total negative charge. Be sure you don't write positives and negatives in the compound formula though. Whenever you write the name or formula, the cation comes first, followed by the anion. If you break one or both of these rules, then the name or formula you wrote is incorrect. This concludes the instruction for naming and writing formulas for binary ionic compounds. Please review this video along with the appropriate pages in your notes and your book whenever you have trouble naming binary ionic compounds. This is important because it creates the foundation for naming all ionic compounds.